Hey, I'm Surfline Forecaster Jonathan Warren with your El Nino update for November 2015. The shirt says El Nino is coming, but it's already here and it has been for months. And according to the Climate Prediction Center, it's going to continue right through the winter before weakening in the spring to summer of 2016. Furthermore, this El Nino is expected to rank amongst the three strongest episodes ever recorded. Aside from the scientific technicalities, there are visual signals popping up all over the globe that illustrate a strong El Nino is underway. One very clear sign has been all the erratic activity in the tropics this season, primarily the Pacific during October. There was Hurricane Patricia off of mainland Mexico, the strongest tropical cyclone ever recorded in the Western Hemisphere. Meanwhile, further out the sea was the odd behavior of Oho and Olaf, two systems that actually curved back towards California, eventually becoming extratropical in the Gulf of Alaska. The western half of the Pacific also had two cyclones turn extratropical in October, Typhoon Champi and Tropical Depression 26, which simultaneously merged with winter storms in the North Pacific to deliver a long run of large surf for the Hawaiian Islands. Another traditional indicator of a strong El Nino is a below average hurricane season in the Atlantic, and this year was no exception. Although Hurricane Joaquin, along with several other weather events, had made for a pretty memorable October and early November. And more recently, we have seen the beginnings of yet another key indicator of a strong El Nino event. Prominent storm activity developing over the Northeast Pacific, as opposed to the Northwest Pacific, which is what we have seen consistently over the past few weeks. Now, many of you are probably wondering, what can we expect in the coming months? Does this mean lots of rain and west swell for the West Coast? Is there any hope for the East Coast? If tradition holds, especially after December, we expect to see a more southerly storm track across the eastern half of the North Pacific. That in turn would lead to stronger and more westerly angled swells for the Golden State, as well as that much needed rain and snow. Typically during strong El Nino events, the entire southerly tier of the United States will see above normal precipitation in winter. One such hot spot that's expected to see more than its fair share of winter storm activity and precipitation is the southeastern U.S. As a result, we're also anticipating a higher than normal share of wave activity in both the eastern Gulf and western Atlantic. Once again, a strong El Nino is already underway and we can expect it to persist through the winter months. I'm Surfline Forecaster Jonathan Warren and thanks for dropping in.